Hello everyone and welcome to the sixth webinar in 12D's Industry Solutions webinar series. My name is Lisa Stewart and I'm the Marketing and Communications Coordinator at 12D Solutions. Feel free to download the handout while we wait for everyone to finish joining. I'll also pop up a polling question. You'll have about 30 seconds to answer about whether you've experienced slow or unreliable local networks and then I'll show the results. Okay, it looks like this is a problem that most of us have experienced, so I think we're going to get a lot out of today's webinar. Okay, let's get going. Our industry solutions webinars are designed to provide insights into overcoming challenges in an evolving industry in more effective and efficient ways. We'll be running these webinars regularly and recording them for posting on our website and on YouTube. Our first five webinars from our Industry Solutions series, as well as the first webinar in our training series, which launched last week, are already available online if you missed those. During this live presentation, you'll be able to type your questions along the way, as shown on the screen, and we'll answer as many as possible throughout the webinar. At the end, I'll also read out some of your questions to the presenter for his insights. Today's webinar, Managing 12D Model in 12D Synergy, will be presented by Tim Brooks, who has been with 12D Solutions for the past three years as the 12D Model and 12D Synergy Training Manager. Tim coordinates and writes 12D Model Training Manuals and writes the 12D Synergy Training Manuals. A civil designer with 17 years experience in the civil industry both around Australia and in the UAE, Tim has worked on a variety of civil projects including motorways, highways, local roads, industrial and subdivision estates, car parks and rail projects. This webinar will address the challenge of data management issues within a business and how the adoption of 12D Synergy can solve these. Over to you Tim. Thanks Lisa. Good afternoon everyone. Yes, there are a number of issues uh, regarding managing 12D model projects. Some of these are basic items like including setup, and creating 12D model projects, granting users access, or even restricting access to 12D model projects, limiting data transfers across your network, managing or preventing multiple live copies, and avoiding that question of which is the latest, opening 12D model projects read only, and undoing mistakes or retrieving a previous version of a project. One of the benefits of using Synergy with 12D Model is that a 12D lead can set up 12D Model projects without using the 12D Model license. The license is only required when opening a project. To give or restrict access to 12D Model projects, Synergy can apply permissions either at a folder level or at the projects themselves. Let's have a look at some of these features. To create a 12D Model project, as long as you've been given permissions to do so, you can right click on a folder and select create 12D model project. Once in here, the 12D model lead without a license can simply enter the name of a project, select which version they want it created in and then select create. When the project is created successfully, successfully, it will appear in the job tree structure. To enable your users to see this project and or edit it, you can apply permissions either at the folder level, simply by right clicking on the folder and again select edit folder. You must also have permissions to do that. Permissions can be either assigned to individual users a group of users or a particular job role. When editing permissions inside a folder in Synergy, besides the 12D model permissions, you also have a number of other permissions that can be set. Permissions can also be set at the individual project level. So if you right click on a project and select edit 12D model project, Again, the permissions can either be set for an individual user, group or role. The permissions at a 12D model project are just the 12D model permissions. These include 
can they view the 12D model project? So that is, can they see it in the job tree? Can they directly open the 12D model project? This gives them the ability to edit it. And the last one there, can they share from a 12D model project, allowing them to share models and teams from that project. Synergy will save data transfer across your network via two methods. Intelligent data transfer means that the full data only transfers on the initial checkout. And then only the change files will transfer when checked back in or checked out again. Local caching technology refers to the intermediate saves going to your local drive only. Again, let's go back to our Synergy client and have a look at this. I have a 12D model project here that hasn't been checked out before. So on the initial checkout or opening of a project, which we'll do, this is where you will take the full transfer of data. I'll select yes to edit that one. Synergy will now transfer all the data files associated to this project to my local workspace folder. During this process, it also caches in the standard file setups and any models or tins shared from other projects. Once it's finished transferring, the 12D model project will open up and we're free to edit it as per normal. Okay, there it is. So I'm now free to uh, make changes to this project. When I've finished the project, or at any intermediate stage, I can go project save. And that save only occurs to my local workspace folder, therefore not transferring any data across your local network. It's only once I exit the project and check it back in, that Synergy will do a check. First of all, entering uh, my history description. And now only the change files transfer back across the network to update my server. You can see that was a lot faster. And again, the next time you check out a project, Synergy will just do a quick check. It goes, I already have all the latest files and um, it is free to be opened up again. Again, saving time but reducing that transfer data. We've had clients reporting back network data transfer savings between 90 and 95%. Synergy prevents changes to a project if someone has taken a copy to site or likewise um, taken a copy home to work on. Therefore, it prevents multiple live copies. Synergy also indicates who has a project checked out for editing. So to show this, we'll go back to the client once again. You can see this project is checked out by me, as indicated. If it was checked out by another user in the organization, or any other projects for that matter, it would have their username there instead. So the checkout procedure locks it so that nobody else can edit this project um, on me. So if I want to go out to site now, or to a location where I won't have access to Synergy, I can use what's called an offlining feature. To do, to do this, simply right click on the project and select offline. It will then ask you uh, to select a local path to cache all this data. You simply browse to a folder and select OK. Synergy will also ask you if you wish to um, cache all the standard files with that one. I'm going to hit yes there. During its caching process, it will also ask you to open the project and this will consolidate and confirm the pack and go package. This will also cache any shared models or TIN data uh, with your offline project. There we go. That's complete now and I'm free to work on this project offline. So I can save the project and exit. 
the Synergy client will also ask me, do I want to see the data in the offline folder? So there it is, all cached into the offline folder. I am free to shut down Synergy now, go out to site and open that project via the normal methods. Within the Synergy client itself, you can see that um, that project is indicated offline. The next day or the next time you're back in um, Synergy Access, we can put that project back online now. Simply right click on it and select online. I'll select yes here and that what this will do is transfer the data from my offline folder and update my workspace folder. It will also ask me if I wish to delete the duplicate offline data. I'm going to hit yes on that one. So now my project has been brought back online. I am now free to open that project and keep working on it or if I wish to update the server, um, I can simply check it back in. Again, adding my history comment and then selecting check in. Again, the data transfer is relatively quick because only the files that have changed um, transfer across the network. Synergy allows 12D model projects to be opened and changed without saving changes. This is handy if the user is just trying to acquire information only. So to show you how to do this, inside the client, um, to open up a project read only, don't check it out, simply hit the open button and open again. And this time, instead of selecting yes to check it out and edit it, I'm going to select no, which will open up the 12D model project in a read-only format. Again, if the data required will transfer to the local workspace still. But you can see when the project is open now, up in the header there, it's indicated as read-only. So I am free to make changes to this. Um, I can inquire on information or retrieve any data that I wish. The only thing I can't do now is save the changes back to the server. You can simply just exit the project. You can also do that if somebody else has the project checked out. It will open up the project for you, um, the latest server copy of course, in the read-only format. Seeing who has made changes to a 12D model project is recorded via the history. We can also undo mistakes or retrieve a previous state of the project through the rollback feature. So the history of the project is located via the history button on the ribbon here. So I'm going to select that. This will show you who has made the changes to the versions, when they were made, and of course the history comment is displayed to show you what has changed. You can also tick on the show preview button and step through those revisions um, to see visually what has changed on the project. Now you can see down in version 3 here that it was checked back in with an amendment to the alignment. If I want to go back to an older version, I can do so using the rollback feature. Before I do this, I'm actually going to check the project out first. That will give me the latest version to my workspace. Then I'm going to come back into the history because I want to overwrite that data with an older version. In this case, I'm going to select version 2 before the alignment was amended and select rollback. Yes, I do want to perform the rollback. And now change files will transfer back across to my workspace location. Rollback's completed. I can close the history panel and now I can open up that 12D model project to that previous state. When the project opens up, I'm free to edit this project now um, from that older version. So you can see up here the end of the alignment is back to its old position. 
I can keep working on it now, or I can save it and check it back in, and the next version in the history will be the same as version 2. Type in my history comment, select check in. Now the server gets updated, and of course, that's recorded in the history panel. And essentially, version 6 is the same as version 2 now. Of course, the other benefit of Synergy is having multiple users in different locations working on the same job. You can hear more about this in the 12D Model Regional and Global Workshop we webinar on the 17th of May. Thank you, Tim. Now, I think we've got time for some questions. Uh, Simon in Sydney has asked uh, about offlining, I believe. Uh, if someone checks out a project while you're working on it, uh, will they not be able to receive the updated information until you check the files back in? That's correct. It's what we call the single source, source of truth. So what is on the server is the most current version. So yes, they have to check their workings back in for the server to be updated. Sure, thank you. Uh, Jeff from Newcastle would like to know, would Synergy work with CAD? Uh, yeah, yes, uh, we have plugins for both AutoCAD and BricsCAD, and that will enable you to integrate both of them with Synergy. Thanks, Tim. Uh, Joe in Perth has asked, can the 12D model setup files be kept or handled in Synergy? Uh, yes, in fact, if I show you where you open a project in Synergy, it allows you to browse to your configuration files, which can be kept in either uh, a Synergy or a local location. Great. Um, we'll just do one more. Um, ben from Brisbane asks, can models and tins be shared from another project in Synergy? Yes, definitely. Um, they can be shared from either a network or a Synergy project. Uh, in fact, the 12D model project that I was using in the demo today was sharing survey data from the survey project in the same Synergy job. Thank you. That's all we've got time for in the live Q&A today, everyone. Sorry to those whose questions we couldn't get to live, but we'll be answering you individually afterwards. The recording of this webinar will be available in coming days through our website and our YouTube channel. Our next two industry solutions webinars will be Industry Accepted Method for Assessing Risk of Aquaplaning on the 4th of May, and as Tim mentioned, 12D Model Regional and Global Work Sharing on the 17th of May. We're also continuing our training webinar series from the 27th of April, so see our website for details of all of those. We'll keep updating the website with many more topics in coming weeks and also keep you posted through email and social media. And don't forget, we've also got our next 12D International Conference this July with the Associated Innovation Awards. The awards closing date is the end of this month, so if you haven't submitted your entry, now's the time. If you need to contact us in the meantime, our details are on the screen now. That concludes our presentation for today. Thank you so much for attending and we hope to see you at future webinars.